Hey guys, uh, right, just wanted to give you a quick tip on uh, hedging. If, uh, if you need to reprofile your hedges, and uh, I mean, in this particular case, uh, the neighbours have cut down the height on their hedge without this lady's permission. Um, and I started looking at tidying up this hedge, getting the faces cut and get the tops done. Um, and then part of the way through she went, oh no, 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 actually, can you cut the whole thing to the same height? And obviously it's a lot more work to do, but what you don't do is hack straight in at the same level. So I started in the corner down there, fold the line round. So what you want to do is where you've got the new height that you want to work from is actually cut in a ledge all the way around first. So you can see behind me, this kind of little dark line. That's obviously the old level and here is a new level of the cut. And what I've done is just cut my way around the whole of the garden and back up this side all the way up to cut the new level right the way to the top. And then you go back in at the same level right the way through to the back of the hedge and then come back all the way around and then finish it off. If you try and do um, the whole depth on one part and then do the whole thing all the way along, it's very, very difficult to actually keep a nice tidy level and you end up with and it looks a bit crappy afterwards. Um, you can fix it, you can smooth it off, but you end up being at the level you didn't want to be at in the first place because you end up having to cut into the height. So what happens is you choose the height and as you're doing it, especially if it's a, a long pole one like I have, you end up kind of, your arms go and the length of it pulls it down and you end up with dips. I have got a tiny one over here and I've trimmed it off so it's okay now. But So if you look, that's come out relatively flat and what I'll do, is if I can stick them together, I'll um, see if I can do a, a quick surround video on this when it's finished, so you can see what it looks like when it's done. The one at the back's really, really difficult. I might not be able to get that done today because I actually got to do it from the neighbour's garden. Unfortunately, that garden, is, the house is still on the same road as this, and the road goes down there and around the corner. I have to go to his garden and then come back up, which is almost a half a mile walk up his garden. His garden is massive. Um, it's, you could fit, you can nearly fit a full football pitch inside his garden, it's so big. Um, so, but that hedge is about, it's about 12 foot deep. Might even be 15. I did take some off the back of it, so it might be down to about 12 foot. So I might not be able to get all the height this side, but what hopefully I can do is get most of it done and even if I lean in with the long pole hedge trim, I still can't get to the back of it, it's so deep. Um, but I'll leave that for now, and I'll get this finished off. Hopefully I can get it done before dark today, because there's a lot here. Um, and the volume of this stuff's probably, I don't know, two, two van loads. There's a lot to come out, it does bulk up quite a lot, because um, it doesn't go into bulk bags that easily, but it's gonna be at least 10 bulk bags, I think. Normally when I do this garden and I'm just trimming, um, it takes at least four bolt bags, so having to take up to two feet off in some places on hedges that are anywhere between three feet and 12 feet deep, so a lot more volume, but um, I'll know that by the end. Right, I'll catch you guys in a bit and I'll show you what it's like at the end. See you later. 